Hello everybody, welcome back to those who have watched the video of us before and hello to all the ones that are watching us the first time. We are here at Laserline headquarters in Germany and today I would like to give you a little bit of input to our actual welding applications, as you can see here, metal welding applications that we are doing with our diode lasers. Maybe one quick word up front. Often we are asked um, about, let's say, brazing versus welding. There seems to be a little bit of uncertainty sometimes. For us, welding means I'm melting the parts, I'm melting the materials to join, and then after re-solidification, I have a joint part. So I have two parts, put them like here in a butt weld, I melt both of the partners, and then after re-solidification, I have a welded part. If we talk about brazing, I again have two parts to join, but I don't melt these parts. I melt a joining partner, typically a wire. The wire is wetting the surface of the two components, and when the wire is re-solidificating, we have the joint partners. So we are not melting the joining partners themselves. So this is for us the major difference between brazing and welding. And often this is uh, uh, getting some sort of confusion when we talk about aluminium joining. And aluminium is joined by welding. The only point is we often use a wire. But this wire is not a brazing wire, it's a support in the welding application. And let's take maybe one example here. It's a car body component. So this car body component here is joined by the laser and a wire. What you can see here is a wonderful surface straight after the application of joining, again welding in our case, we go back and go for painting. So this component is a wonderful example that we melt the aluminium, use a wire to do some gap bridging and have a wonderful surface directly in the area of um, painting the part. Another example of this could be this part here. It's again aluminium and here we are welding in the fillet. So we are again creating a very good surface. You see here the joint sections of these parts. So here again a wonderful surface of these parts joined by laser, aluminium material, filler wire to avoid cracking. What we do as a specific tool is our spot and spot welding. Spot and spot welding helps to reduce the spatters, makes a very good surface, increases the speed and overall has a way better application after the welding in the hands of the, of the consumer, in the hand of the car maker or whoever is making these parts. So spot and spot, a, a, a center spot to create high depth and a surrounding spot to smoothen the weld pool is a wonderful tool for many applications, specifically in aluminium. What else have we done in terms of welding? Finally, another aluminium welding. Here is a simple butt weld, but this is already eight millimeters in depth. And again, with our toolings and our lasers, we can create here at a speed of three and a half meters, a wonderful application. So when we look here again, the surface is just wonderful from my point of view. Very, very nice. You can also see the root, it's fully welded through. Diode laser application, wonderful example for aluminium. So maybe let's switch to steel as an application. And I would like to show you this part here as the first example. It's stainless steel. And this stainless steel is welded by a heat conduction. So I have no keyhole. I have just melting the surface. Typically the depth is in the round of one millimeter. And again, when we look to this application here and uh, you look at this surface of the parts, it's just wonderful again. It's amazing how smooth the surface of such an application can be. Here you can see the setup of the parts uh, before the weld and uh, this wonderful surface welding that we did by heat conduction using a three kilowatt laser in this case, if I remember correctly. Yeah, it's confirmed from our markings. A wonderful um, application for heat sinks 
for uh, kitchen sinks, for any stainless steel aluminum parts, also in the area of food industry that uses toolings where we can use such an application. Let's stick to steel a little bit further, but deeper, thicker. And I have an example here, it's a T-joint, so next to the butt joints, overlap joints, we also can do the T-joints, of course. So this is an example again, um, doesn't say the depth, I think it's in the range of eight millimeters again. So here we used seven kilowatt of power and could weld with a speed of 1.5 meters. So here again, you can see the surface Maybe I turn it around like this, you can see it a little bit better in the light. Uh, wonderful weld through. We have seen steel, we have seen aluminium, we have seen butt welds, fillet welds, overlap welds, whatever application. What's other uh, possible uh, materials that we can talk about? And one of the latest is copper. Copper is the hot thing at the moment. It's really the hot topping, electromobility, batteries, bus bars, joints, hairpins. There's so many parts that are discussed under the field. Of copper. And here is another example of copper welding and we use our blue laser to do this. Yeah. Unfortunately I cannot show all of the samples we did for our customers. Many many are NDA protected and we take this very serious. So here is just a simple example of copper welding. And again in this sample you can see it's a very good surface and the blue laser for copper is creating a spatter free application. We are not having any spatters and especially in the area of electromobility, there is a current going through the parts. We are in the situation that we don't want spatters because this can do short circuits and always have an issue. Some people come along and ask for joining dissimilar materials. Of course, we can do this again. This is an example of stainless steel and copper, which we have joined here together. In this case, it was done on an exhibition live, visible for all our customers. So very nice joint of stainless steel and copper. Another special, I'm switching back to an infrared laser, is here the sinter material. So this is sintered material that we are welding. And in this situation, again, very, very nice uh, surface and not a lot of, of porosity or any spatters coming out from our diode laser application. So, in a, such a short video showing more than just some, some basic samples and take uh, you on, on a journey for different applications and, and materials, not much more possible. But one thing is left that I want to show you. This is a material here, thickness is 20 millimeters. And we had been welding this with our diet lasers. In this case, from two sides, because the melt pool will simply fall through if we are trying to weld it with one sided applications. So that's a 16 kilowatt laser doing this weld. Here you see the cross section from both sides, from the top and from the bottom. Typically we weld in the so-called PC position and create now thicknesses um, being joined by lasers which are used in bridges, steel constructions, pressure vessels, and something like this, gas containers, transportation on ships where you are working on very thick materials. One more example here, same for a T-joint. And when we look into this T-joint here, um, I'm not sure if it comes through, but maybe we can put a picture over it later on. A very nice weld from both sides for this thickness again, using a power of six kilowatt. So, as I mentioned, a quick journey through aluminum, copper, steel, sinter material, low thickness, high thickness, heat conduction welding, and keyhole welding, very deep weldings, and don't forget how we differentiate between welding and brazing. Thanks for watching, I think uh, and hope it was uh, helpful for you, and uh, see you again on one of our next videos in the future. Stay safe, all the best, thank you.